And now, your first alert weather. We still got a lot of clouds overhead and we're catching a break from the showers right now in Idaho Falls. We might get a couple of raindrops out there, but more of the steady rain on the way here for Friday as we're still going to be looking at this area of low pressure working in here from the west and getting overhead here for tonight and tomorrow. We currently have those temperatures into those mid 50s. We're not expected to see a big jump, uh, jump or drop in those temperatures uh, through tonight or tomorrow. We keep it pretty steady when we have moisture like this. Winds of the northwest currently at three miles an hour. We switch it up to the Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam. Even a bit of some sunshine peeking through the clouds right now at 51 degrees. Winds of the northeast at six. And then Jackson, rain 46 with winds out of the south at 10 miles miles per hour. You heard the wind though late last night as we were getting some of those storm clouds right overhead and we had that constant stream of rain for the Snake River Plain and for areas of western Wyoming. For this evening we have some showers still hanging out here in the upper valley. In fact you got another little push of wet weather falling uh, right now just east of Idaho Falls getting back towards Rexburg. Quite a bit of wet weather also around Bear Lake County. You can see that there's just steady rain right now through Alpine, Hoback Junction, up through the Tetons and then into Teton County, Idaho, and then also on the Wyoming side, the stuff's all rotating towards the national parks. You got more wet weather seeping over the mountains into Rigby and Rexburg right now, getting up into St. Anthony in just a bit. This is all thanks to an area of low pressure, which is currently rolling towards us here. And of course, we're getting that counterclockwise circulation of more rain, cold temperatures, and a bit of some wind. And we have more of that here for tomorrow as the low is going to get right overhead here for Friday afternoon and evening. So we have quite a bit of wet weather still wrapping around this low pressure center. By Saturday, this guy's moving through eastern Montana and up towards the Dakotas with some drier weather trying to work back in here for Saturday and Sunday. Also, temperatures starting to perk back up. Vipercast tonight, we have the shower and thunderstorm threat starting to rotate back through the region through the early morning hours tomorrow. Quite a bit wet weather again with us here across central Idaho, southeastern Idaho, and the plain getting into western Wyoming valleys throughout Friday morning and midday. Partly cloudy skies for Friday afternoon. High school football is going to be a little iffy tomorrow evening with some high elevation snow in the local mountains. And then we clear out nicely for Saturday morning with just a few pockets of snowy weather in Yellowstone early Saturday. Then it's cool and sunny for the afternoon going into Saturday and Sunday. Uh, over the next 24 hours, we could get another two tenths of an inch in Idaho Falls of rain. Quite a bit of rain still falling towards Jackson over the next 24 hours. And look at southeastern Idaho looking to really rack up more rain tonight and tomorrow. 54 McCammon for the high, 49 in Lava with a low 40 tonight. We should get to about 52 for Rexburg and 56 in Jackson with sunnier, warmer weather by Sunday. And we have more of that for Monday and Tuesday with highs getting back to the lower 70s. Moving off into Rexburg, highs here at 60 degrees for Saturday, upper 60s for Sunday with partly cloudy skies. And then we're pulling in some sunshine for Monday and Tuesday. Winds are picking up Wednesday of next week and temperatures are dropping. Our coast is going to be about 47 tomorrow, 54 for Stanley, 56 in Chalice, close to 60 tomorrow for Salmon with some foggy conditions trying to develop early Saturday morning. A high of 68 for Saturday afternoon and then 72 for Sunday. Moving back into the Snake River Plain, Blackfoot and Idaho Falls, lower 50s tomorrow, mid 50s in Pocatello and lows back to the 30s and 40s tonight. Eight day forecast, once we lose the shower, we're pulling in some nicer weather for the weekend, although temperatures are down quite a bit. We have those below average numbers for Saturday afternoon with a high of 62 in Blackfoot. Pocatello also in the mid to lower 60s here with overnight lows back to the upper 30s. Lower 70s for Sunday looking better here for Sunday and Monday with some warmer numbers. And Idaho Falls 52 degrees tomorrow with a low of 38 going into Saturday morning. Then we're back into the 60s here for Saturday and Sunday, close to 70 for Sunday afternoon under partly cloudy skies. Todd, over to you. All right, Michael, thanks. Custom officials.